Hello, welcome to this edition where I will be showing you the different buttons in this astrometrical software and their use. So if you observe the first thing we have here, we have, um, we have the settings button. So this is where you can make changes to the astrometrical program. Maybe if you want to change the configuration file, you can make it from here. You can also click on the files and you can also see the settings there. So the second button here is the is the load dark frame. Um, although this button is not important, at least for the asteroid search that we are doing. And the same thing with the third button, which is the load flat field. But the fourth button is the load images. It uses the load images. You know, we have we downloaded images from the Isaac website. Let me just go to it. Let me go to the to those images. Practice image sets. We have already um used um used the uh, WinRAR to, to extract it. So this is the load images. I also unzipped this one. Okay, let me do that again because I did it off off offline. So let me do that again. So if I want to unzip it, I will go to this place and say extracted. So okay. So this is the images we are going to be loading maybe in our next video. So, but I'm just showing you how you can load those images by clicking on that button. Then after that, we have another button which is the astrometric data reduction. So we shall see what it is used for during the time we will start our image analysis. But if you observe, it is inactive because we have not loaded anything yet. So it remains inactive. So then we have the moving object detection, not important. So the next thing we have there is to stack images. So this is for um, advanced level when you proceed. Then after maybe after discovering an app, a moving object and you want to see the report, what we call the MPC report, this is where to see it. This is how to see your report and you can even submit it to the Minor Planet Center from there. But we don't encourage our participants to send their report directly to, to the Minor Planet Center from that feature. We instead advise them to submit it through the Isaac website, through your team page in the Isaac website. Then Isaac will now submit it to the Minor Planet Center because the data we are using are from the Isaac website. It was given to the Isaac through um, PenStar's um, telescope scientists forward the images to Isaac. So from Isaac, you download it. So if you want to submit it back, you have to submit it through Isaac to the Minor Planet Center. So what we do is after making your report, after creating the MPC report, you send it. So if you want to see it, you have to click here. Then we have the close all images and we have the close all windows. Another important button here is this, the invert images. So we have two kinds of backgrounds here. We have the white background and we have the dark background. So you, you can decide the one that works for you, but we use usually use um, the white background and we encourage our participant to use the white background. So if you want to change that, it is here that you have to click. But if you also observe like other ones like this, it is also inactive because we haven't loaded any data yet. Then we have the known object overlay. Another important button here. Those, this button helps you to differentiate between objects that have been discovered by asteroids from the ones that have not been discovered. Sorry, objects have been discovered by citizen scientists from the ones that have not been discovered before. So. If you don't click it, you will not know the ones that have been discovered by someone. And if you if you report it, you can lay claim on that because someone has discovered it. So in the process of um, 
of searching for asteroids and in the process of data analysis you are advised to click that so that you can differentiate between the objects that have been discovered by someone from the object that have not been discovered by anyone so we have the zoom in uh, button that we have the zoom out buttons so we will show you how that these buttons work so doing this the, the, the search doing the analysis we encourage uh, our participants to zoom twice twice is better because you're gonna see everything when you zoom twice so we have the fit window size so you will see the work of that later then we have the blink current image what is blinking you know um from what i showed you here just let's go back to this file we have about four files taken at a certain time interval i'm not sure maybe one hour or or 30 minutes but they are separated at different time intervals so when you use astrometrica to analyze these um, images uh, the, this, this program helps you to animate them let me just show you um, what I'm talking about from the Isaac website if you observe this what you let us count it let us count it one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are six images taken at different time intervals, but the astrometric software was used to simulate them. So it is now showing you a, a sign of movement. So in the same way, these four images, when you load them to the astrometric, um, this astrometric software, and you click here, it will simulate those four images to produce a sign of movement so you're going to see that in, in our next video when we start um analyzing images then we have frequency blink frequency if you want to increase the frequency you can click there if you want to reduce it you can click that but we leave it at one even doing our analysis so just leave it at one don't make it faster don't make it two don't make it three just leave it at one then we have the stop blinking maybe when you discover an Moving object, maybe an asteroid, you have to start blinking so that you can number it. Then we have this single step backward and single step forward. You're going to see that when we start uh, demonstrating that in the next video. Then we have a start blinking. Maybe after discovering asteroids, you can go ahead and start blinking so that you can go to other parts of the data to check it. One important thing I want to let you know is um, this. Before you load your image data here, you have to first of all check what is going on here. This is PS2 configuration file, the CFG represent configuration. So we this configuration file helps you to analyze the image that you have. For instance, let me show you. If we go back to the data that we downloaded, You'll observe that it is it has this PS1, PS1. So all the data we downloaded from the Isaac website are PS1. If they are PS2, you will see it written as PS2. So if I want to analyze this data, I have to make sure that my configuration file is PS2. I can't use a PS1 configuration file to analyze PS2 images and vice versa else I'll get error while submitting it. So let me show you how to how to change it. So you go to the settings, you go to you click on open, then look at those look at the several configuration files that came with Astrometrica. So the ones that are very important for this Isaac campaign are PS2 and PS1. But the, the, the data that have downloaded are PS1. So I'm going to click on PS1. So I'm going to click. OK. So it has automatically changed to PS1. So I can, at this point, load my 
images. So I want to also point out one important thing you can do on your own. So if you want to learn more about everything I have said here, you can read this the first two files here. You can these are PDF files. You can read about all these things about these buttons and these uh, configuration files from these two data on your own. So in our next video, I'm going to be taking you on the real image analysis, how to load images then and how to analyze it. So thank you.